So I have been struggling in the wardrobe department with my work clothes and work clothes are expensive and being in Florida, like it's just a different ball game from like up north. Like the things that are acceptable as work clothes down here are a lot different or like something up north that would be like an everyday outfit might be a little too formal for down here and I've been struggling so today I'm gonna like get some items I think my first stop is Goodwill because people throw away their clothes all the time um especially like lightly worn things so that's where I'm gonna start but just just keep watching to see what I find so Goodwill was kind of a fail I did get a shirt which I'm inserting now, and it's a Tommy Bahama shirt. I don't know if I'll wear that to work or not, but like I said, Florida's a little bit different, so if I could find a pair of white pants, which I've kind of been looking for, I could totally pull it off for work, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go to Old Navy. So Old Navy worked out a little bit. I did find a dress, and all their dresses said 50% off, but mine didn't ring up, and I didn't um, say anything. So that's kind of sad. And I did get a pair of white pants that I've been wanting to get. So I at least got two things and and their masks were buy one, get one free, i.e. 50% off. Um, so I did get two bags of masks, two packages of masks. And the Old Navy ones are my favorite. So that's always a bonus. Um, and there's not really anywhere else to go shopping around here. It's just so sad, like, <sighs> It's so hard to find anything. Okay, it is the next day, and ironically enough, I just got home from work, so this is actually what I wore to work today. And I feel like everything I wear is very, like, safe. Like, I have two pairs of pants, a couple shirts that I'm going to show you that I, like, switch through, and, like, that's it. I did only end up purchasing two items, this being one of them. Um, it's from Old Navy. I got it because all the dresses were 50 50% off and then I realized at checkout that this one wasn't however I tried it on and it like flatters me because with my chest it's hard to find something that like isn't baggy everywhere so like it kind of looks baggy but once you cinch it it's like comfortable and it has pockets and this is kind of like a lighter color than what I normally go for but it still is slightly neutral I don't know and then the other thing that I purchased were these white pants so these black pair, the gray pair that I have, and these white pair are all the Pixies from Old Navy. The Pixie High Rise. The gray ones are like still super great and tight. These black ones are kind of bunchy and they're all the same size, um, size 8. So I don't know if these are going to be tight still or if they're going to like get really loose. And I know my friend who's a size 6 gets the same pair of pants. And her black ones are also baggy and then the other ones that she wears aren't so i don't know what it is about the black ones but if you go for it like size down i want to show you just like my typical outfit so maybe we could go to the mall get our nails done get our hair done we fly maybe we could holler at the boys looking so good just so when they walk by because we know what they want but we just laugh <laughs> yeah we won't let them get away with that every single week. I either wear my gray pants or my black pants and most of the time it's my gray pants because I feel like it doesn't look like I'm just wearing black pants but I typically do accessorize really well. I would give myself that like I normally wear a nice pair of earrings and like necklaces. I always have my rings on um, that sort of thing. My shoes are a whole different like ball game like 
finding shoes that work just aren't, I'm not good at it. All right, so I do have the white pixie pants on. Um, the biggest thing with these in comparison to my other pixies is that the ankle is more bunchy, right? I don't know if you can tell or not, but the other ones kind of go up a little bit higher, so I would like to just hem them a little bit. Um, but this is a shirt that I have that's very island casual, island business casual almost. It's from Pomegranate. I don't know. I got it um, where I work, like at one of the retail sales. And this is a combination that several people wear around on this island um, where they wear this like long blue shirt with the white pant and the only thing is is like oh I guess it does fit okay so I do think I'm gonna undo this button because it was bunching which looks worse but I do think that this is cute and it does cover so like white pants stress underwear lines who you know what I mean didn't think it was for me but honestly not too shabby now I just need to wear the proper shoes <laughs> another shirt that I can wear with my white pants is this navy and white polka dot shirt um I haven't worn it in a while it actually kind of feels baggy but I just didn't I can't wear them with black or gray because of the navy but I think it looks really good with the white and it's just kind of casual. So this is another one of those. I have it in my closet, but I don't wear sort of items. And as I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's very hard to understand the dress code in Florida. So like, like you can't tell me I don't look good in this. Like this is part of a power suit if I've ever seen one. This is from H&M recently just in the spring here and it does come with like its own belt which I know some people like and some people don't but I do have other belt options that I could throw in it because it's not like attached right well it's half attached but I can remove it so this is one of those that are like amazing great I look phenomenal like you can't tell me I don't because I won't listen to you one thing like I had mentioned was the belt again I can take this off it's just like secured with a plastic. I do have a couple options here. So I have this thick one um, that has like the loops. And I often use this one as a middle belt like this, just cause I like the gold detail and that would go fine. I also have, wait, I have a smaller one. Um, this one is, this particular one is from Target. The other one was from Nordstrom Rack, but like, this one I also like to use because it is thinner. Um, and then the last belt option that I would use from what I have is actually this cheetah print one. Um, this could like play it up or play it down a little bit. Um, maybe not so formal and it, I don't even have the belt loop in there for this size. But um, I think the cheetah is a good option because this is such a small pattern on the dress, you know. Just a little something. So that concludes what is in my closet as far as workwear, what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. This is kind of part one to me getting outside of my box um, and exploring my options. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe um, to see the other parts of my workwear journey. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. See you later.